Well, it's Melads Milo once again coming to you with the biggest stories making headlines in the country. A very good morning. How are you doing? I hope you are doing very okay. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, a series of demonstrations staged by Ugandans in the United States who are opposed to the government of President Museveni have taken the center stage at the United Nations General Assembly. Now, the demonstrators armed with placards denouncing the East African pipeline project and the human rights violations have appealed to the UN General Assembly to cut ties with the government of Uganda headed by President Museveni who has led Uganda since January 1986. Now, fearing a possible humiliation, President Museveni, who last attended the UN summit in 2017, delegated his vice president, retired Major Jessica Alupo, to represent him. An old building has collapsed in Makindye, Kampala, killing one person. The victim was identified as Tony Semogerere, who was living on the second floor of the storied building, which was under renovation. Two people sustained serious injuries and they are currently admitted in hospital. Many times, some Ugandans on social media have criticized TV personality Douglas Luanga's relationship. They say Linda Lisa is too old for him, she bleached, they don't even match and all that stuff. However, in a recent interview with Caritas Karisimbi, Douglas said, fans don't respect their celebrities' decisions, which is very, very bad. Douglas says, at the end of the day, he's a human being, he has feelings, so you need to respect the person he chooses to stay with, not you again telling him the type of partner he should have. So you see, um, I'm a very private person, but I choose when to put what out there. When you're a celebrity, your fans assume that every decision that you make in your life, they have to be part of it. That's very bad. At the end of the day, I'm a human being. I have things that make me happy. I have things that make me sad. I have things that make me cry. But when I am done with TV, I go back home. I need a family. You need a girlfriend. You need a wife. You need children, whatever. So you're not going to get some of this. Actually, you can't get those things from your fans. Do you want to invite your fans to your house and uh, tell them, please make me a cup of tea? So if I choose a person to be with, you need to respect that, even though you're my fan. Well, Farida Nakazwe's show in Masaka, this time around, sold out. The people of Masaka did not disappoint like they did at Lugogo Cricket Oval. People came in big numbers this time around. Though some bloggers had started circulating fake news that it had also flopped, but as you can see in the pictures right there, the turn-up was very okay. Therefore, I want to say a very big congratulations to you, Farida Nakazwe. <laughs> Well, Bukede newspaper published a story suggesting that their former employee, Fifi Daquin, had been arrested. But Fifi, through her social media platforms, has dismissed that information. She posted that, To all my family and friends, I'm very okay and not arrested. I don't know the aim of this Bukede TV and paper story about Fifi Daquin being arrested. Wabula Bukede, Mufachi Bakwano. Well, that is Fifi's post on social media. So it seems there is some bad blood between Bukede TV and Fifi Daquin. Mm, this is a story worth following and I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Well, there you go. Those are some of the biggest stories making grounds in the mainstream media and the social media platforms. Well, it's a brand new week that brings us to the end of September and I hope we all have a fantastic week. My name is Melads Milo aka Fuller and don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.